Hey everybody, this is Ori again. Wanted to show you two quick tips on how you use analytics to find ideas to create new content for your website, for your blog, or for whatever you're trying to do. Okay, so uh, the first thing is to really leverage, or actually both of them, is to leverage what your users' information, what your users are inputting, what they view, what kind of information they put, um, and just actually read the information that that they uh, input when they search and then use that to create great videos, create new topics, blogs, uh, FAQ, stuff like that. Okay, so number one is uh, if you go to your analytics and you go to regular reporting, just to, to um, audience, you're going to click on the advanced segments. Okay, now after you do that, you want to create a new custom segment. And I've already created, so I'm just going to edit mine, but you basically just click on new custom segment. Now what I called it is a potential Q&A content or just general content and it's very very simple. All you do is click on include and look at the keyword, typically the keyword either from pay-per-click or organic it would take matching, okay, matching and then what you do is you input this entire information, okay. So let me go here, right here. So basically if one of the keywords has adding, add, does, who, what, where, when, why, um, versus a bin, bing, a, all these terms, then it'll put it in your custom segments and you'll be able to find all these cool a, content ideas of things like a, your product versus another product or um, where can I find this product or this keyword or why does my term do this and you can kind of figure it out and I'll show you an example so um, very very simple I'm gonna paste this in in the video description so you can use this and you can kind of um, it, it work on it basically if you include another pipe in between different terms you can add more and more keywords very very simple okay so um, let's click on on preview segment actually let me cancel here We'll go to advanced segments, and instead of all visits, I want to segment by this new custom segment we created. I'm going to click on apply, and now on the left-hand side, I'm going to go to traffic sources, okay, and all traffic, and then I'm going to uh, look at all of the, the different areas that I actually have this custom segment traffic from, and I'm going to click on secondary dimension and keywords, okay? Very simple. Now I can see all the traffic I received from all of these potential Q and A questions. So um, here's a you know look at this. Let's let's say we don't have an article in this uh, uh, for this topic. So someone went to Google and typed in how to fix Invicta watch bands. Now they obviously landed on our website, so we got them on some way, but we may not be ranking number one, or we may not be providing the best landing page. So I might want to create a video on how to fix an Invicta watch band or how to replace. And then you know what, I might even cre create a nice article with a video, with images, with content and just make a really nice page and capture the audience eh, eh, and you know give them what they're looking for so they don't have to go to other websites other competitors to find the information very simple so you just go through this list you know one by one and you can come up with tons of ideas that you can refine make better uh, uh, improve the rankings on and on and on and on okay so um, that's basically tip number one tip number two is leveraging your search box on your website. So um, this is, you know, the, the same website we're looking at the analytics, Total Watch Repair. Now, uh, on the top left-hand corner, you have a search box. So let's say, uh, uh, you know, people search stuff. So let's just say I'm searching for, um, let's say something brown. Okay, a brown product. Okay, so now. Um, when you search for it, many websites will include the search term in the URL. So you see uh, watchband.php and then question mark search terms equals brown and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look in analytics for my pages, look in the content section of pages, and I'm going to search for anything that says search terms or just search. And then I can find all of these content 
uh, uh, pages, all, all these searches that people are looking for and try to improve my website. Maybe a lot of people are searching for brown, you know, X, brown, let's say, let's just say a model number, for example, brown uh, LD55. If LD55, that specific thing that people are searching for is hard to find or they cannot find it, maybe people are searching for a product that you don't even have and you might want to purchase because so many people are searching for it, um, you want to do so. So again, look at the information that your users are searching because you work so hard to bring it to your website. You want to help them convert. So I'm just going to show you very quickly uh, uh, how you actually do this stuff. Okay, so if I go back to analytics, I'm going to go to the left-hand tab called content, site content, and all pages. And now what I want to do, again, we're in the, the potential Q&A, um, but it, let me actually go back to all visits, okay, apply. And now I want to go, again, to all pages right here, and I want to use the advanced search feature, okay, and I'm going to... it do the following. Include page containing, again, we have the word search in it. So most likely products don't include search. So I'm just going to type in search and I'm going to click on apply. And perfect. So if you notice watchbands.php, a uh, question mark search and then terms. So here you see search terms equal uh, and then you can see all the information. So Skagen, Titanium, here's a model number, just like we mentioned, 59-S51018. So look at this information and make decisions on your website. Help people convert. Help people find that stuff. E even, you know, take it further. Help people find what they're looking for without even needing to use a search box. If, if tons of people are searching, 30 people are searching for this product, why don't you put it on the home page? Put it on the first uh, product of your a category page. Make it easy for people to find. Use this information. And uh, those are basically uh, the two tips I have for analytics on leveraging uh, information to create content and to improve your website. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Ask me any questions if you uh, would like, and we'll create some more information. And of course, I'll copy and paste the um, custom segments information. Okay? I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much.